Read BBS, BBS. In Terrence Bud Crawford news, September 2nd, Thursday, September 2nd, WBO will have a purse bid for Crawford versus Sean Porter. This purse bid will be live on the WBO's Facebook page. That's what's up. And who, who knew? Who knew? WBO has a Facebook page? Okay. I'll definitely uh, mark that on my calendar and check it out. Typically, purse bids are an automatic 80-20 split for the defending champion, Bud Crawford in this case. But given the average purses for Porter's last three bouts, it'll be a 60-40 split, or what I affectionately refer to as an RJ split. 60-40, I kicked your ass. I kicked your ass for 60-40. Now, a deal, a deal for Crawford Porter still could be worked out before September 2nd, but it's highly, and I mean highly doubtful. The fact is, man, we need, we need this fight. Boxing needs this fight. We had torn retinas, COVID cancellations, etc. So it's been kind of a rough year for our sport. It really has. Uh, as optimistic as I naturally am, Crawford Porter still seems almost too good to be true, especially considering it's mandated by a sanctioning body. S since when do sanctioning bodies do the right thing? So yeah, color me guardedly optimistic in this one. I won't even break down or predict this fight until it's official. And again, if for whatever reason, Crawford Porter does not come to fruition. Don't forget the homie Virgil Ortiz. He's sitting right over there. Sitting right over there in the corner. Just, just waiting. Just waiting for it to play out. Crawford, he uh he trolled Earl Spence a bit after Spence missed out on the Pacquiao fight and that Pacquiao money. And then, of course, Manny losing to Ugas. And I quote, looks like Earl Spence need me after all, though. I know you're really mad about that fight last night because I was, but not in a hating way, just in a missed opportunity way. Don't beat yourself up about it. Get well, champ. Bo Mack, he, uh, there's only one Bo Mack. They say there's only one Ricky Hatton. Well, there's only one Bo Mack, the funniest trainer in all of boxing. He had a, a hilarious interview pre uh, Pre-Pacquiao Ugas, it was actually still when Spence Pacquiao was on the dossier. And this interviewer just kept kept throwing uh, Pacquiao Spence at Bo Mack. <laughs> and finally, Bo Mack was like, you just want me to say it, don't you? You really want me to say it, huh? And then the dude asked him yet again about Pacquiao Spence. And Bo Mack said, I don't give a fuck about that fight. I'll say it again. I don't give a crying corn's ass about that fight. <laughs> yeah, Bo Mac. That brother there, man, he, he needs a reality show. Bo Mac needs a damn reality show because he's that damn funny. With all that said, regardless what happens, Terrence Crawford has one fight left on his top rank deal. So, of course, Bob Arum being Bob Arum, he'll talk shit about his fighter when he got three or four fights left. How he's not making money off of him and could have had mansions built on the money he's lost. But as it as that final fight approaches, Bob starts sweet talking. And he's already dangling a UK fight with undisputed super lightweight champion Josh Taylor for Terrence Crawford uh, in Scotland in 2022. So long story short, whatever happens, Terrence Crawford, he will end 2021 with a bang. And we'll all look forward to his 2022. Subscribe, comment, touch the bell icon for notifications. Remember, sharing is caring. And as always, love, tap, and or bitch slap that like button for you, boy.
From the home of the three-piece combos, Pugilism Company. Read BBS, BBS. Blackbird Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Televisio, Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.